In the last video, I talked about the study that Jonathan Haidt worked on, ideological differences in the expanse of the moral circle, and how we were going to put aside the obvious implications of it for another time. Well, today is the other time. As a quick recap, the study showed that, on average, left-leaning people care more about large-scale ideas and entities beyond their immediate scope, while right-leaning people care more about those individuals around them. And this difference doesn't manifest in such a way that left-leaning people have more total consideration than right-leaning people, and therefore can afford to spread it around to wider areas of concern, while not sacrificing those close to them. As shown by that awfully damning heat map, when leftoids and rightoids both have the same amount of moral units to spread around, Rightoids are likely to prioritize their family and friends over more esoteric targets like plants, trees, amoeba, and space rocks, while with leftoids, it's the inverse. Yes, your average leftist cares more about amoeba than their families and friends. That just sounds sociopathic to me. No. What? Wait, wait, wait. This says all living things in the universe, including plants and trees. The study literally doesn't say what you think it does. It says that they care about everything, not just things they can see, touch, or feel personally. He doesn't know how to read data. He doesn't know how to fucking read data. It literally says right here. All animals in the universe, including life forms. All animals. Like, it's literally all animals, all people. Yeah, they care about all people. They care about all animals. They care about everything. Meanwhile, the inner circle, the one that conservatives care about, is just the people in your immediate family, extended family, friends, acquaintances, people you have met, people in your country. Yeah, this literally shows that conservatives are more selfish than fucking, well, liberals. Because they care about everyone regardless of where they are, who they are, what they are. They care about everybody. That's what this says. Stop trying to interpret interpret data if you do not understand how the data fucking works. I read this and understood it instantly. How have you failed this hard? That heat map is figure 5. Figure 1 shows that right-leaning people prefer friends than family than others, while left-leaning people prefer others than friends than family. Fig Wait, friends and all of the things are exactly the same here. Yeah, once again, this just shows, like, you get more fucking selfish as you go conservative. This doesn't prove what he thinks it does. Look, it's not even that far of a difference. It's a little bit. This is the difference between, like, 4.9 and 5.1. What the fuck is he trying to say here? Look at this. Unless this was down here, and this was up here, this doesn't mean what he thinks it does. This is like nothing. I would argue this is nothing. These differences are very minor. People prefer others than friends than family. Figure 2 shows that right-leaning people prefer nationalism over universalism. And left yeah, nationalists, because they're fucking dumbasses. Left-leaning people the opposite. Figure 3 shows... Why does he say that like it's a bad thing? Nationalism's bad. It led to, like, fucking World War One and a ton of fucking conflicts. Like, one of the biggest reasons people shot at each other back during the Napoleonic era was because of nationalism. Oh, my God. All humanity. A.K.A. everybody in humanity. High. Conservatives. Low. Because country means more than all humanity. Seriously? Seriously? This doesn't prove what you think it does. Shows that left-leaning people identify first with humanity, then community, then country, while right-leaning people identify first with country, then community, then humanity. Figure 4 shows that the most extreme...
Huh. That's actually pretty interesting. Dream of leftists prefer non-human entities to human ones, and everybody else even not- Personal moral allocation. On extreme but still solidly left leftists prefer humans, though the gap gets wider the more right you go. Also, that's liberal, not leftist. If we were to boil down a general rule out of these bits of information, it would be that progressives prefer universalized, high-minded concepts, and they allocate their moral consideration accordingly, towards large, encompassing classes of things, while conservatives prefer localized, grounded concepts, and they also allocate their moral consideration accordingly towards individuals, but not just random individuals, but those individuals that they're close to. All that being said, it still remains to be seen which of these approaches is correct. I'd guess that the answer is, it depends. Is it possible that the leftist view is too ivory tower, too disconnected from reality and the people living within it, and the rightists are grounded and... No. Leftists care about the people on the ground more than the people in the ivory towers. What the fuck are you talking about? It literally says they care about everybody, everywhere, regardless of race, nationality, none. They care about everybody. It's the right-wingers who are, like, sociopathically, like, I don't care unless you are personally into fucking my life. Fuck you. That's literally what the data says. Practical and more connected to others? Absolutely. Is it also possible that the... No! It doesn't. It just says you care more about your family and your personal life. When it comes to, like, should I care? I don't know. Do I know this person personally? No. I don't give a fuck then. It doesn't mean what you're trying to make it mean, you idiot. The leftist view is necessary when tackling large-scale, complex problems, while the rightists are too lost in the forest to see the trees. Again, absolutely. If you're living in a local community of trusted family members and friends, and allocating your moral consideration accordingly, then the localist view might be correct, and the universalist would likely come in the form of some city slicker who doesn't know a lick about you or your community, flying in to mess things up out of ignorance, thinking his ways work everywhere. At the same time, if you're the leader of a government, and you need to muddle your way through to the correct path while still representing vast swaths of people who may not agree with each other, let alone you, while still getting the job done on a project that is simply too big to go it alone? In this case, the more universalist view might be correct, and the localist would likely be the small-minded country bumpkin who only cares about his concerns and wants to see them fulfilled, even if it's at the cost of somebody else somewhere else, NIMBY style, because their perspective doesn't allow them to see that cost or even care about it. The point is, I'm not passing judgment on which position is correct here. Except when it comes to valuing space rocks over humans. Fuck. That's not what that says, you dumb fuck. Don't read data if you don't know how to interpret the data. You spit in the face of scientists everywhere who spend time to understand shit. Fuck you, commies. And That's not what that fucking says. If only you could fucking read. Yet. Despite all of this, how often do you see leftists try to appeal to the community in their rhetoric? The black community, the BIPOC community, the trans community, the LGBTQ plus community. Yes, yeah, saying community is a good way to describe a group of people without othering them. If I just say the trans, it comes off very fucking distant and cold. But if I say the LGBT plus community, it sounds better. It doesn't sound as fucking cold. And they are a bit of a community, online. They do act that way a lot. It is an accurate description. All of their rhetoric centers around the community, because they want to appear to be localists against the oppressive, tyrannical, globalist corpos. No. The, the fuck? Who the fuck is talking? No. What? M most fucking leftists are globalist collectivists, you idiot. Yeah, we're against corporations because corporations suck. Why are you fucking talking like this? It's the internationalists who have no stake in anything flying in to rape and extract versus the local community of tight-knit leftists who are fighting the good fight. The problem is... Uh, there's nothing tight-knit about the left. Like, we're, we're literally standing around pointing guns at each other constantly waiting to cap each other. This view doesn't map onto reality. There is no trans community or gay community. There are trans and gay individuals, but they are more different than similar. There is a community. Again, they, like, all the time online, like, f they fucking talk all the fucking time. They are a community. What? Like, I know he doesn't know because he's fucking stupid, and he actively hates these people. But it takes seconds to find these groups online. Just because they're not, like, physically close doesn't mean they're not close-knit.
They don't all live in the same area, nor do they advocate for the same politics, nor do they have the same... When it comes to being LGBT, yes, most advocate for the same politics. <laughs> Again, this motherfucker doesn't know because he doesn't talk to anybody outside of his fucking Sargonite eco chamber. But he's factually wrong here. Same concerns. It's a superficial construction, not based on the voluntary association of the people involved, but rather based on one single immutable data point in their personality. In other words, just because you're gay or trans doesn't mean you are like every other gay or trans person. No, but they do tend to talk together a lot because they share a lot of common problems and goals. It happens a lot. I don't tend to hang out with right-wingers because I don't agree with them. I don't tend to hang out with a lot of straight people because I don't agree with them on a lot of things. I can be friends with them, but when I'm talking about certain issues, I don't normally talk to them because they don't understand. Hell, I barely understand shit at this point. But, like, you don't under comprehend this because you don't know, apparently. Like, if you would talk to people for ten fucking seconds before making videos, you would understand how stupid this comes off. It doesn't mean that you exist in a community. Compare that with the conservative definition of community. He fucking thinks a community is a bunch of people living in a small space physically. He doesn't understand what it means. Community, which is a lot more clear-cut. Their family, their friends, their neighbors. Deep, consensual, interpersonal ties of a group of people who all live in the same area. This is a community, and rightists often have this. Wasn't this the motherfucker who was crying and whining about Mark saying we all need to live in an anthill? Like, that was his argument. Like, he was crying about it because he didn't comprehend that either. He, he was whining that, oh, we gotta live all together in the same group, and that's bad. Here he is saying that it's okay now? Like, which is it? While leftists don't. Even in those instances where there is an identifiable physical community, like a neighborhood where predominantly black people live, unless there's some sense of belonging, of togetherness, of community, then there's not a community there. And for sure, some black neighborhoods in the state... This dumb motherfucker. He just defined a community, and then he just said, but it doesn't count as a community if it's a bunch of black people. It's have this, and a lot of others do not. Asian and Latino neighborhoods are far more likely to, which is why it makes a lot more sense to call them communities. Does he think that all black people just punch each other? Is this racist motherfucker saying that right now? Progressives wield the community in order to gain a lot of leverage. It's a word. It's not wielded, it's just something we say. Everybody does it. It's not just the left either. If you want to cancel somebody but there's no concrete allegations, well, he's insulting the community, even if we can't find an individual who's actually bothered. If you want to force through some bit of policy, whether that's legislation or terms of service or whatever, well, it's good for the community. Terms of service is not policy. If you make a scene out of Walmart, they can throw you out. You don't have a right to use a private business. Even if you can't find any actual benefit. And the thing is, they're not able to stop themselves. The entirety of the left at this point sits atop a foundation of socialism. Even if we're talking about some idiot rad femme who only cares about women. No, it doesn't. There's everybody from liberals to sock dems to socialists to communists. They don't always get along. A lot of their fucking, they fight a lot. It's on fucking lefty Twitter constantly. Issues, or some intersectional progressive who doesn't actually care about Marx. If you dig deeply enough, the progressive lens eventually discovers working class versus the rich as a vector of oppression, and their logic inevitably leads them to socialism's class war. And because it's all some variant of socialism, it's always going to be collectivist, not individualist. The only real moral weight socialist rhetoric has is in its appeal to the... Socialism is not collectivism. It's literally just the workers owning the means of production. This motherfucker doesn't know what words mean. Collective. The community. Communal ownership. Communal living. Communal thinking. So progressives can never actually appeal to gay individuals or trans individuals. They can only craft non-existent communities and appeal to them. That's right. You don't exist as a community. None of you do, apparently. This dumb fuck has said so, so it must be true. Those. We gotta coin a phrase. Dev's law or something. Because I've gone back to Marx's on the Jewish question too many times in this channel. If you need to understand why Marxism explicitly rejects... Oh yeah, he goes back to this book and doesn't understand what it fucking says. The liberal right to free association, which is the foundation of why they force people into these fake communities, then you have to read this essay. In it, Marx complains that the liberal conception of rights leaves man an isolated monad, turned inward toward his own property, his own endeavors, and his own troubles. While 
Again, if you want to see me break this fucking down and explain to this dumb fuck what it is, go watch my other video on this idiot. He doesn't understand communism or consent. Also, keep in mind the way he's talking about, you know, the black community not being a thing because they're violent and fighting each other constantly. He has the OK sign in his thumbnail. Which kind of makes me think this guy might be a white fucking nationalist or a white supremacist. While well, freedom is found through our connections to others, and while Marx is correct, freedom can be found through our connections to others, that's only if such a connection is voluntary. The Marxist criticism of liberal rights is that they don't allow people to be connected together. But we don't need a right for that. If you want to do that, we'll do it. The natural end result of Marx's complaint is that, in the Marxist conception of rights, one person will be allowed to force a connection with another. Keep in mind, he wasn't saying that we need to get rid of these rights, he was complaining that they make someone too selfish. He does not care about community or the whole. He cares about himself. This is wrong. You should be thinking of everybody with your actions, not just yourself. It's essentially the don't be selfish thing that we've all been taught our whole lives by our parents, if they're good parents. That's what he was saying. Like, he was very weird with, he was like very like flowery with the language. But that's what he was saying. Like, again, these guys don't understand language that's not like really simplified and babied due to his right to be connected. Again, socialists don't understand consent. As these people appear... I have proven you don't, under you don't understand consent myself, you idiot. ...appeal to this mythical community. They reject what actually being a part of community is. That's why they want to abolish the family. Nobody wants to abolish the family, you idiot. We want to get rid of the nuclear family. Because it is bullshit. It means nothing. Who gives a fuck about a mom, dad, white picket fence, the, the fucking son, daughter, dog? That's what we're talking about. We don't care about families. If you want a family, make one. But it should be a family of people who fucking care about each other. Not a mom, dad forced to marry because they had sex one time in high school. No, fuck that. If you want a man and a man to get married, do it. Woman woman, do it. Non-binaries, non do it. Trans, do it. Don't care. That's what we talk about when we say this. Pay attention. Or they believe that everybody has. Wait, this is just them like making fun of like the trope that like because we're blood, we we forever understand each other and we can. We're like always together. Yeah, this isn't a thing anymore. People are more spread out. Like, think about it. If you don't live with your family anymore, like if you moved out of the town or you're like the other part of the city, do you see your family a lot? Like your extended family? I know I don't. We moved out of the town where um, basically my whole family lived in this one little town. Well, town. It was a fucking trailer park. But a bunch of us lived there. Well, we moved out. And we, we barely see the family anymore. They moved out too, by the way. They fucking got out of there because, well, there was no point in staying there anymore because everybody was just moving out. It was going to hell. Well, they all scattered. We, we all went to different places. We're now like, it's 40 minutes away. I don't have time to go, drive 40 minutes to see the family. Yeah, that's my whole day going to see them. And I can only spend like 5 or 10 minutes there. I don't really... I, it's, I, I'll, I'll talk on the phone a little bit here and there when I have I don't have time. Nobody has time. We all have to work. Not to mention people have rough patches. Again, people come out as like not straight and they get fucking disowned by their family. You come out as like non-binary or trans. You get thrown out. Nobody wants anything to do with you. The whole concept of like I'm super tight with my family. It, it's kind of bullshit at this point because once you're no longer in the same space... You, you barely see them. There's just no time. It, it actually becomes a burden to see your family. That's the kind of shit this is talking about. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's even talking about the trope from the Folgers commercial. Has terrible relationships with their family just because they do. Or why they're known for treating other human beings like such utter garbage for them. Wait, this guy's a douchebag. 
Who cares? He's a millionaire douchebag. Who cares if he got robbed? Like, yeah, he has. he's a millionaire. He has plenty of money. Why do I care about him losing a little bit of money? Like, yeah, if somebody who, can, who can't afford to lose money loses money, I'm not going to be happy about that. But, like, a millionaire? Fuck him. He's got enough money to live the rest of his life. Why should I care? The most trivial of reasons. Or why they're so afraid that coronavirus lockdowns have turned people they know wholesome. Hold on. You guys keep talking about the community. And now that women are becoming more community-oriented, it's suddenly a big problem? Even worse, now that the power of appealing to the... If I look at that article, it's, really, it's literally going to be... Like, we've become inward, and we're no longer expressing our views to other people and places. Therefore, it's dying off. Like, they've been deplatformed or something. Is that is that what that artist is going to fucking be like? I'm not going to look at it. It's fucking the Atlantic. I don't care. The community has been recognized. We've started to see new revisions of that idea crop up. Have you happened to notice appeals to... the international community or the global community in the name of all sorts of causes? The fundamental problem with all of this is that this just isn't what a community is. It doesn't need to be mono-ethnic or mono-racial or mono-religious, though that can obviously help. But your community is the people... Not even a mask at this point. ...people around you that you voluntarily choose to associate with. And as the study at the beginning of this video showed, leftists do not value their communities, while rightists do. Um, they value everybody. That's what that study showed, you dumb fuck. What? No matter how many mucho texto comics they write about how, as queer POCs, they need to rediscover a new anti-capitalist, anti-imperialist definition of family ties and blah blah blah. And no, this is no, no, that's not what this is saying. Also, have you seen a right-wing comic book? Everything is fucking labeled. It has more text because you have to label everything. This chair, it has chair written on it. Why? Because right-wingers are too stupid to know. They need to know it's a chair. Like, all this is is just like mocking the family thing. And they're literally just talking about having friends. However, while it's true that leftists don't value community, they also don't really need to. They only need to appeal to it. As long as they can identify themselves. Who the fuck is saying any of this? ...selves as the voice of the community. That's the wedge in the door to introduce unwanted bureaucracy. Now the trans community is not simply random trans people who are disconnected, but somebody who speaks for it. And that's somebody... No, it literally is just like trans people in general. Who the fuck is saying they're all connected? ...now runs an organization, and that organization now lobbies politicians, collects donations, and silent... What? It's an organization now? When did this happen? This is critics even among those very trans people it should be representing. The first thing I think is that we actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. Um, we are... Which is, it means nothing, by the way. There's no such thing as like a trained Marxist. It's literally just, you, you read the theory, you know the little fucking points. That's, that's all it is. It's like saying you're trained fucking, um, it's like saying you're trained to fucking, um, have a family. It doesn't mean anything. Well, that's not even a bad, that's not even a good, because we do have fucking family trainers now, goddammit. It's like saying you're a trained right winger, essentially. It means nothing. There is no, like, right wing training. There is no right wing fucking, um, 
book. It's just, it means nothing. I don't know why the fuck this person says that. Uh, super uh, versed um, on sort of Okay, so this is like all just basic left stuff. Ideological theories, and I think that what we really try to Yeah, she's fucking lying, by the way. This was like a PR thing. ...to do is build a movement that could be utilized by many, many black folk. If you can label it, then you can centralize it. And if you can centralize it, then you can gatekeep and subvert it. The only way to fight back against this is to force them to keep things particular. Don't let anyone get away with... Don't organize. Don't talk to each other. Be quiet so you can't have one voice speaking up. We want a bunch of little voices we can ignore at all times. Keep your heads down. Don't you dare. Don't you dare organize. How dare you. He's trying to keep you silent and weak. He don't want communities. He don't want organizations. He wants you quiet. Don't rock the boat. Keep the status quo. Don't you, don't you dare organize. You keep separate. You're not. You don't really work together. You have no common goals. Stop. Stop that now. Don't don't gather in line or nothing. Stop. This motherfucker. This motherfucker is a union breaker. Fuck him. Broad sweeping allegations or demands. Don't consent to give your voice to their efforts. Don't talk about things on their. Keep in mind, I have never once heard somebody from any of these communities force somebody to join them. Like I am not part of the community, even though some would put me in it. Now, I'm separate for a different reason. Because I don't feel like I would make people comfortable being there because of my past. Fair enough. Nobody's come and tried to drag me to join anybody. Their terms, or agree to their terminology. And always make sure to laugh at them, so that they'll expose themselves as the tyrants they are. These people don't care. They're the tyrants, by the way. Don't gather together, don't be community, don't talk to each other, keep silent. I care more about my family than I do about the entire world, fuck off. About any community. They are anathema to the very concept of it. And if they're- Except you don't know what a community is, motherfucker. It's not used for just a small town. It's used for several things. Buy a fucking dictionary. Hell, use Google. It's free. If you're coming for a community that you're a part of, then you have an obligation to defend it. Alright guys, that about does it for me. What a dumb motherfucker. This guy actively hurts my brain because he is so fucking stupid.